In the uncertain year of 1863, during the Civil War, the federal government established the Bureau of Colored Troops. Its goal? Recruit, enlist, and muster African Americans into the Army. A Moment in Time with Dan Roberts. Up until the Civil War, blacks, officially, were not permitted to serve with the Army. With the passage of the Militia Act in 1862, which allowed them to be used in military service, and the issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation, which went into effect in early January 1863, Northern white prejudice against black military service began to break down. Whites began to show a willingness to tolerate the enlistment of black troops, particularly as the need for manpower in the Union Army escalated after the heavy body count in 1862. Initially, the federal government did not have a national plan for organizing colored troops, although some state governors were already actively recruiting African Americans. The Bureau of Colored Troops was established to streamline the process of activating black units and to recruit competent white officers to command them. The government's policy was that only white men could command black soldiers. To prepare white officers, a school was established in Philadelphia called the Free Military School of Applicants for Command of Colored Troops. Each school term was 30 days, at the end of which, after a strict academic regimen, applicants could present themselves for examination in Washington. During its nine months of operation, 484 of the school's graduates passed. They were joined by an additional 6,000 officers who commanded 179,000 African-American troops during the Civil War. Because of racial prejudice in the North and fears of Southern retribution, black soldiers were not used in combat as extensively as their white counterparts. The most well-known battle fought by black soldiers took place at Fort Wagner, South Carolina. Next time, the 54th Massachusetts at the University of Richmond. I'm Dan Roberts.